This is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, today we are bringing you the review for the Libertone Zip. And this is a Bluetooth speaker. It's not just a Bluetooth speaker. It really has the most packed features we have ever reviewed for a speaker here on our channel. Now what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, not only is it Bluetooth, but it's also Wi-Fi. What does that mean? Well, that means you can play it through anything in your Wi-Fi network that can view external speakers, such as a smart TV. You can literally have two of these in the background and pair it to your TV and you have a surround sound experience. You can connect these to your laptop, to your desktop, and of course to all your phone and tablets and all mobile devices. With that being said, this is a very, very loud speaker, probably the loudest for its price range that we have yet to review, which is at the $299 price point. So first let's just play a song and then we're gonna walk you through the app and all the extra features. So first and foremost, this is a song. So that was only at about 50% you could see at the beginning, but however, towards the end, I just wanted to show you how loud it really gets. This is enough to fill about three connecting rooms in my house. So this is loud enough to fill the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room fully, easily. You could easily have an entire party with just this speaker. That's how loud it is. So very loud when it comes to it. Now, that being said, not only does it have that, and not only does it have Wi-Fi capability, you can pair multiple of these by the connections on the top. So the connections on the top have a couple of different features. So one, you could like, you know, skip, go back, and standard stuff like that. You can mute it by going uh, called hush, and just kind of put your hand over it, and that will hush it. You have to touch it, and uh, just on the center, and then you could hush it or start it. But this button up here will allow you to connect two different ones together so you can tap it and sync multiple together and then down here you actually have radio on here and you can actually save stations on here five stations and cycle between them by just basically going between each five dot and that's how you can actually save which station you're going to we'll try to hush it as soon as it comes on but you can see you can actually save stations on there and you can play it and that is how you can switch between them. So that's how you can do it on there. Oops. There you go. Uh, so we have that ability to just go right to it. You also have the ability to either connect it through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth as I said earlier. And you can also even customize how the sound goes. So you can customize how you want the sound to go. Oh, we actually had it on speech. I want to have it on neutral. But you can actually have it on neutral, easy listening. And it kind of tells you what it's doing, which I really like, which most of these tend to not actually tell you what this is doing. So I really like the fact that it really tells you what this does. So really nice when it comes to that. Not only that, but you can even customize the placement. So a table, a shelf if you want it more one directional kind of style, if you want it more kind of loud at a distance like outdoors, what you would usually want that for. You have all these different selections and I really like this personalization that it has. It has your battery indicator of course, uh, your connection, how you're connected to it, Wi-Fi or, um, or Bluetooth. You can always update it on the go just like uh, other things like a Sonos and different things like that. But not only that, you have a lot of extras that we see from multiple different speakers. So one thing it has, it has the ability to charge out so you can charge your phone or tablet on the go with this, so it's really nice. Uh, this has a bit of over 10 hour battery and so far it's really tested well. We just recharged for the first time today after a little over a week. So uh, playing here and there definitely did a, a long lasting battery impression, so you have that as well. and we have the ability to even change the color. So one thing I love is this handle, handy handle in the back. And let me see if I can do it from this angle. 
you hold it down, twist it, and then once this is off, you can actually change the sleeve color. So we'll do that now. And this is with the new color on. So this comes in this little sleeve package, just like that. And basically now to finish it, I'm just going to zip it back up. That's where the name zip comes from. And now I have a new color on there. So these colors are changeable like that. And you can just buy a zip cover separately and really nice so you can have this custom look and style and change it whenever you want. So I really like that. As of right now, you have, I, I want to say it's more than eight different or six to eight colors around that and really nice for the uh, differences you can get and fits almost any one decor. That being said, I really just love this uh, device. It really is the best speaker we have come across uh, to date on our channel. Just reviewing it has been really nice. Like this company, I said it would, we review the headphones. It just has an amazing attention to detail. Everything is really nicely done just from having the same circle on all their devices so you can raise or lower the volume is really nice built in. And again, just the attention to detail. And it literally took, you know, things like from the JBL charge, from Sonos, from Samsung, from uh, Bose, all these different companies. It took all the best features and put it into one speaker. At $299, it's gonna be the best in the price range. I would buy this over any other $299 speaker currently, just for the pure sound quality you get and most features you get out of any head out of any speaker in this class let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below did you like the design and style of it? it comes in a lot of other colors and there is a new one coming out soon that hopefully we'll get to review with a black on black uh touch just for those who uh want a different kind of style and design all right guys thank you as always for watching let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite speaker and which comparison would you like this speaker to go up against this has been r-i-c-k-y the android guy